Are we there yet? Redeeming the Ten Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to leave a nightlight on for you as we provide a digital place for those who long belong. Tonight's nightlight is out of Numbers chapter 21, starting in verse 4. It says, And why have ye brought us up? up the congregation of the Lord into this wilderness that we and our cattle should die there and where have ye made and wherefore have ye made us to come up out of Egypt to bring us unto this evil place it is no place of seed or of figs or of vines or of pomegranates neither is there any water to drink the context of this nightlight is Moses and Aaron are under almost direct assault from the children of Israel because they're grumbling and complaining about a lack of water and a lack of the kind of food that they want to eat and just a general malaise that have fallen over the camp and a murmuring and complaining had broken out and this is going to make Aaron and Moses throw themselves at the down in the tabernacle and they're going to seek what God would have them to do and God tells them to go out and speak to the rock and it'll provide water Moses is so angry at them he goes out and strikes the rock and this causes him not to go into the promised land he'll die in the wilderness and they'll go into the promised land uh, the, the younger generation will go in what a what a sad sad thing that mum, mumbling murmuring and complaining can lead to that the nightlight illustration is if you've ever been on a long trip with children you know exactly what this is all about are we there yet every once in a while we'll go on a long trip head down to California to one of the youth meetings that's there or go uh, a couple of times we've gone down to Disneyland and always it's like a uh, I don't know probably a 18 hour drive once you get it all added up and you count the stops in and that kind of a thing and inevitably the the big van load of kids that I've got they start out real excited they start out just on top of things and we're excited about making the trip excited about what we're gonna do we make our way uh, through the the deal down down there about three hours into the trip they are just miserable and it starts are we there yet are we there yet are we there yet I'm tired I'm hot I'm hungry I gotta go to the bathroom and boy you find yourself looking in the mirror instead of seeing those wonderful loving little children children you had you see these gremlins screeching at you and it be, kind of becomes uh, the the trip where you you wish you could just uh, you know turn around and go home and not do this thing i wonder if sometimes god doesn't feel that way with us where where he feels like we uh, grumble and complain too much we're always asking him for stuff always complaining about everything but we're not happy about anything maybe God would take us on a few more trips and give us a little more goodies if we were a little more thankful for what we had let's pray Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for these dear ones that are under the sound of my voice. Help us to remember that we're not to be murmurers or complainers. Your word assures us that we are not to murmur or complain. Instead, we're supposed to have praise and thanksgiving on our lips. Help us to move into that realm. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a good night.